to the Alamo Dome. Curvo Tivy meeting Frisco Liberty in the Class 5A Girls State Semifinals. First quarter, Tivy's Audrey Robertson drives baseline for the layup, but she gets hurt on the play, spraining her ankle. Big loss for the Antlers. Later in the quarter, Liberty letting the fly from three. That's McKenzie Glover knocking it down from distance, but this one was tight throughout. Four quarter, Catherine Kaiser fighting for the loose ball, getting her own rebound, and the putback counted and the foul. She hits a free throw to tie it at 23 all, but Liberty with the final say. Kaylin Lay gets the layup and the foul. Tivy loses a heartbreaker in the semifinals, 34-28 to Frisco Liberty. I mean, it is frustrating, but you just got to keep going. It's basketball. Things aren't always going to go your way. So you just got to keep pushing and keep going. They did a good job applying pressure. They did a good job of, of coming up and jumping us on traps. Um, we, we had, you know, too many turnovers to win this ball game. So both Pirates played the Woodville Lady Eagles in the 3A state semifinals at the Alamo Dome today. First quarter, Pirates on the break. Kyra Luna passes, gets it back, and scores the first bucket of the game. A bit later, Morgan Pape makes the layup, and the Pirates led 7-4. Still in the first, Chelsea Cruzy drives baseline, passes to Catherine Hinky for the jumper, and the Pirates trailed 10-6. After that, the Lady Eagles just pulled away to beat the Pirates 68-48, ending their wonderful season. Jake Kaberski has more. Well, behind a tough full court press and a barrage of three point baskets, the Woodville Eagles ended an excellent season for the both Pirates. Both fell to Woodville 68 48 in Thursday's 3A state semifinal at the Alamo Dome. Well, we knew it was coming. It's not like we didn't expect it. Um, I think some jitters got to us, and obviously it showed that they were out ready. It's one of those things about shooting the ball. Sometimes they fall and sometimes they don't. I know that we worked so hard to get here, and it was just a bummer seeing it in the end not finishing through. The Pirates end the season with a 29-6 and overall record. Meanwhile, Woodville advances to face Chapel Hill in Saturday's Class 3A final. At the Alamo Dome, Jacob Ersky, KSAT 12 Sports. 6A state semifinals between Antonian and Concordia Lutheran. Devin Grant drives in and gets the tough layup to fall for the Apaches. Later on, now Gavino Ramos goes inside to Grant. His defender flops. Antonio would take a five-point lead. Then Ramos dials long distance. Antonio led 30 to 27 at the break. And Antonio wins 70 to 55. Devin Grant had 17 points. Brian Armstrong 14. The Apaches will play Prestonwood Christian Academy tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the 6A state championship. UTSA baseball upset number 19 Texas last night at Dishfalk Field in Austin. The Longhorns led 6-0 after three before the Roadrunners got hot. Top of the fifth tied at six. Joshua Lamb hits a two-out, two-run single to right, capping off an eight-run inning. UTSA led eight.